In this video in our how-to series, I'd like to show you how to use multi-actions on your Stream Deck to automate certain mundane tasks in your day and hopefully save you some time. Let's get started. First, I'm Michael Prokupka, Head of Customer Success at mm -hmm. So what are multi-actions? Well, multi-actions offer you the opportunity to string together tasks that typically take multiple clicks or multiple keystrokes. So as you start to think about them, think about the tasks in your day or your week that you do over and over again that require multiple clicks and multiple keystrokes and think about automating them with a quick action. And today I'd like to walk through two examples to help get you started. We'll start with something simple where we'll initiate a screen recording using QuickTime with a single button press, and then we'll finish with a more advanced example of composing an email reply, where we'll open up your email, compose a subject line and body text with the press of one button. All right, so let's start with the basics and let's initiate a screen recording using a single button, which typically requires a couple clicks. In order to show this, I'm gonna share my screen and narrate along. And one thing to note here, to really get the most out of multi-actions, you'll need to leverage hotkeys or keystroke combinations that trigger actions. You can see here in QuickTime next to new screen recording, you can trigger this by pressing Control, Command, N, and we'll use that in the creation of our multi-action next. All right, so to show this, I'm gonna use a blank slate, so I'll come to the dropdown and start a new profile to get a fresh set of buttons. I'm gonna come over to the multi-action dropdown and drag multi-action into my top left key to open the editor. You have to open QuickTime, so we'll go to System and drag in Open. I'm gonna come down to where the app file command is and use this button to open my browser. You can use this command to open any application or file on your system, so mess around with it. But for this one, let's find QuickTime and hit open. When you are opening an app, it makes sense to drag in a delay to let the app fully open. And now we're gonna use that hotkey combination to launch the, the, the action. So I'm gonna go down to hotkey and assign that command control and N to trigger the new screen recording. And I'm gonna jump back to the main screen. If I wanna change the icon, I can do it right down here. All right, now that I have my icon set, I just wanna give it a title. So I'll come down here to the title and I'll type in screen record. Now I have a button on my stream deck that when I press it, will launch that multi-action of opening QuickTime and starting a screen recorder. Try it out. All right, now let's move on to the advanced example. I'm gonna show you how to compose an email reply with the press of one button. Same concepts, hotkeys, multi-action. I showed this one to visualize the power of this operation and to get you thinking about all the things you could potentially automate with multi-actions. Let's go. One quick note before I hit play on that video is I use Superhuman as my email client, which leverages a lot of hotkeys. If you use a different client, just look up and see which hotkeys are available to you and make the appropriate adjustments. So let's show you how this works. First, I'm gonna use the same profile and drag multi-action in to open the editor. Now I'm gonna to go to system and drag in website because I need to open a URL. So I'm gonna to go to URL. I'm gonna type in the address of mail.superhuman.com to open that up. I'm gonna let a delay pop in next to let the site fully load. And I'm actually gonna double the delay to just make sure I give it enough time. Next, I'm gonna drag in a hotkey because I want it to use the compose email, which is C. Then I'm gonna drop in another hotkey because I wanna tab down to the subject line where I'm gonna enter text. I'm gonna enter a subject line for re-sales inquiry because I'm showing how to automate a sales inquiry reply with one click. Then I'm gonna drag in another hotkey to tab down to the body of my email where I'm gonna use Superhuman to use one more hotkey to open up the snippet library. And the snippet library takes a second to open, so I'm gonna drag another delay in and double it just to make sure it has time. And the last thing I'll drag in is, an, is another hotkey to press enter, which will enter my text that is a snippet to reply to sales inquiry. Let me show you how this works when I press this multi-action on my Stream Deck. All right, so much like last time, I've given my new multi-action icon and I've titled it. Now I just wanna show you what it looks like when I press the button on my Stream Deck sitting right here in front of me. It'll happen quickly, but I think it's pretty cool. Check it out. So I'm gonna press the button now, opens up the URL of my email, uses the hotkeys to compose an email, insert the subject line, open up the snippet library, put the snippet in the email, which includes my Calendly link. And the only thing that's left for me to do is enter the email address of where this is going and click send all at the press of one button, pretty cool. Okay, so we started you out with two. Think about getting creative and filling up some more buttons with multi-actions to save yourself some time. This was the multi-actions on Stream Deck to automate tasks entry in our how-to series. We'll hope you check out the rest of the series. And if you do want even more information and resources, join our community at community.mhm.app and we'll see you there. Thanks so much.